crafty girl with some acrylic paint and a plain t-shirt that does need a little bit of spicing up. So what better way to do that than by hand painting my own custom t-shirt. I started by planning and sketching out my design on the t-shirt. I wanted something on the back and front of mine. I was going for a small graphic on the upper front pocketish region and then a main piece, big and bold and centered on the back. I'm using my trusty sliver of soap to mark up what I want to paint since it really shows up well on this black t-shirt. But Taylor's chalk, erasable pens or markers would also work out too. Maybe even a regular graphite pencil if you're working with a lighter colored t-shirt. For the larger graphic on the back, since I'm drawing out my design rather than printing it out and tracing it, which you could totally do instead, I got the image that I wanted to use and with the help of some drawing software, I put an overlay grid onto it. Then I measured out a similar grid onto my t-shirt. If you're wondering the specifics of my project, I made my graphic 36 by 36 centimeters, so my grid was composed of 6 by 6 centimeter squares, with 6 squares on each row and column. Now I'm just going to transfer the image, quadrant by quadrant, so that the details are more accurate. If the logo wasn't a dead giveaway, yes, my t-shirt is inspired by Mario's utility jumpsuit from the anime Heavenly Delusion. You try on your t-shirt and make sure that the placement of everything is as you want it before things get permanent with some paint. Hello. Stretching. Once you're happy with your design, you can grab the rest of your supplies for this project. You'll need some material, could be plastic, could be cardboard or thick paper, something to put inside of your t-shirt to stop the paint from bleeding through both layers and staining the other side when you're painting one of the sides. I just use this thick sketchbook. Yes, it's covered in newspaper because I'm jazzy like that. I'm going to go ahead and put that inside of my t-shirt right now before I forget. There we go. Obviously, you've got to have some paintbrushes. Doesn't need to be anything too fancy though. Grab your acrylic paint too. I'll be using white for my design. And the secret ingredient, conditioner. I've also just got a container to mix all of my stuff in and store any leftover paint that I overmix, as well as some warm water. So here's the magic formula that turns regular acrylic paint into basically a fabric paint. Put one generous squirt of conditioner into your container and top it with about an equal part of water. Mix this up real well to get the conditioner to dissolve as much as possible and even if it's not entirely smooth, it should not be super chunky either. Then add about an equal part of acrylic paint into the mixture. Look at me and my poor, almost empty tube here struggling to get anything out. Got to give it a good shake before anything comes out at all and even then, there's not much to work with. Anyway, make like a mini stand mixer and mix it up. Then proceed to spill some of the very little precious paint that you have on your table because you're just so good at mixing and clean it up and then continue mixing. Keep going until everything is relatively smooth and then the painting can begin. For my design on the front, the marks inside the rectangle represent the places that I want to keep black so I just worked around those and slowly filled in the graphic. Since the paint is pretty diluted, you'll definitely want to do a good couple of coats, maybe three, four, even five layers to get a really opaque finish. Wait a couple of hours between coats to let them dry properly and so that you can see what you're working with each time before adding more paint. But other than that, take your time, put on some good music in the background and just vibe. Once you're happy with your paint coverage and everything is dry, use a marker like a fabric marker, clothes marker, permanent marker that matches the color of your t-shirt, mine's black obviously, to outline and clean up the edges of your design, using it to correct any mistakes you might have made. Coolio, looking real good. Now you just gotta repeat all of these steps on the back. Now that the master design on the back is all done, I let it dry completely. Then I cleaned up my guideline markings and grid lines with a damp cloth in order to see where I needed to touch up, fill in and sharpen with my marker. And I could pretty much 
let's call it done at this point. However, just to double and triple check that my design will stand the test of multiple washes and wearing it to death because I already love this shirt so much, I decided to heat set it. I'd recommend doing this too, but it's not mandatory. So I placed a thin piece of fabric or baking paper on top of the painted region, completely covering the graphic you just painted, and iron over it with the heat setting set to match whatever the material of your t-shirt is. Mine's cotton. Place the iron down and go over the design a few times just to seal everything in. There might be a little bit of transfer from the marker or the paint. I had a bit, but otherwise it should be all good. Flip your shirt inside out and then iron over that side too. And that's pretty much it. Let's see how everything turned out in a super cinematic scene that would fit right into Heavenly Delusion. Will you be giving this easy DIY a try? I've certainly got a couple more ideas in mind that I want to paint on my t-shirts. But until then, keep it jazzy.